Now they reckon it's going to be like 2022 until we get two million more people have proper broadband. Two million out of a 26 million population. I mean, say that's four million total, you know, out of 26. Six fours of 24, you know, less than a sixth of the population. And that's not even probably including the farmers. I mean, the farmers are dying out for this stuff. <laughs> They're livid, absolutely livid. There's this new technology where they can actually save hundreds of thousands, you know, like $300,000 a year on proper placement of their fertilizer across the field. It only puts the fertilizer in the field where it's needed. And they divide the fertilizer up into like MPK. So it just puts the phosphorus where the phosphorus is needed, just puts the nitrogen where the nitrogen is feed, needed. And they save hundreds of thousands, and that's per farmer, per, you know, per property sort of thing, per year. And yet it doesn't work unless you have fast fort broadband because it has to you know, send the information down from the, you know, from the sensors to the satellite to the tractor and vice versa and to the farmhouse and all that. And they just can't do that on, on shithouse broadband. I mean, it's, a, a, it's, no, uh, it's no other way of saying it, you know. It's just absolutely uh, stupid. But uh, yeah, therefore, we did it, you lads, your fellas. I, I haven't got the time or the energy, and I'll tell you what happens on the other side of the election. But you know, we're getting to the stage where it might be guillotines in the street if they don't fucking fix the broadband situation. I mean, they're doing ads about buffering, and the actual ads about the buffering are buffering. That's how bad it's got. So I'm watching an ad about buffering, and the actual ad is buffering. <laughs>